Restoring your configuration is a little more involved, but um, it's actually not that bad. The hardest part is reinstalling all of those node modules, and I'll show you how to do that really easily. Um, we're gonna delete all of these files here and then pull all of these files that we backed up back over. But before we do that, we'll have to put the Raspberry Pi into read-write mode. And I'm gonna use control Pi config to do that just because I'm feeling a little lazy. So we'll put that in read-write. So now we're all ready to go. And I'll delete all of these files. And when that's done, I'll meet you back here and we'll copy all of these files back over and install all of our node modules. Okay, so now this node red folder is empty and we'll take our backup files and we'll just pull them right back to the node red folder. And when that's done, all right, that happened pretty quickly. You see, because the node modules folder wasn't in there, didn't take a lot of space. Now we'll need a terminal window to install those node red modules or node JS modules. So we'll go over here to terminal. I'll clear this up, connect with SSH, put in my password. And what we're gonna do now is I'll make this a little smaller so that we could kind of see what's going on here. And I need to change direction directories into this node red folder. So the first thing I need to do here is to change directories into this dot node red folder. And I'll do that with the command CD dot node red. And you see right here by the prompt that I'm in the node red folder. And then I'll say NPM install. It's pretty neat that node uh, NPM actually took the fall, wrong spelling of NPM install and installed everything anyway. So what that did is NPM install, it looks in the package.json file, and then it goes out to the internet and grabs all the packages that you need. So we'll, we'll go back here in FileZilla and we'll hit refresh. And we should see we have a new folder here called node modules. And that's where everything that we need is reinstalled. And now there's just a few more steps to complete the restore process. We'll go back over to the terminal window and reboot the Raspberry Pi with sudo reboot. And once that reboots, we'll have to manually start node red because it needs to write some files when it starts up the first time after doing npm install. So we'll need to put everything in read write mode, restart node red, and then the next time we reboot, everything will just start up on its own. So my Raspberry Pi has rebooted. And now if I browse to uh, port 1880, Let's see if I can find that there. There we go. It should not be running. So Node Red is not running now because the file system is in read only. And the first time it starts, it does need to write a few files. So we'll just switch this into read write mode and we'll start Node Red manually with the command node dash red start. And that will start Node Red up. And then we could just reboot the Raspberry Pi again and it should be running on its own. So now Node Red is running here, and um, we could go over here and have a look at it. So we could go over here and have a look and see that Node Red is running on port 1880. And uh, to get out of this, you'll use Control C. You could just open another terminal window and re log in with SSH, but when you run something like this, um, Control C is how you exit that program. And now Node Red is, is no longer running. So let's do another reboot and then everything should happen automatically and our restore process should be complete. So I've got the Raspberry Pi rebooted now. I'll refresh the screen and you can see that Node Red started on its own after that reboot. So those are the steps to restore a Node Red backup.